Well, that'll sure grab your attention. From action-packed throwbacks to comedies about adult education, what's in theaters this fall, plus what's all of the stuff that is going to turn a reporter into venom? Here to explain is Act.Land contributor movie critic Lanita Cook. So you have watched Predator. Yes. And it more than likely holds a very special place for the director because he was in the original. Are there any nods to that film? Well, uh, let me be quite frank with you, Belinda. Okay. I don't remember the original <laughs> as well as I should. That's okay. Because I was so young <laughs> and it was so scary. So all I remember is the monster with the eyes and the mouth, the, you know, so that's Terrifying. what the first one said to me. Um, but this one, um, I know that the original was kind of built around the great American action hero, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. um, this one kind of takes a different turn. A lot of people will be asking about that comparison and what they're gonna get here is something way more campy than the original. Okay, you talked about how scary the Predator is. And when I'm watching the trailer, that's all I'm seeing is oh, yeah. teeth and this thing was created to kill humans. It is gory, it rips you up. I screamed a lot and it opens with the sound of those heavy, monstrous footfalls. And, and so you know it's coming. But then one scene kind of changes it into a campy comedy. And so first you're confused about what genre are we actually in? And then you said, this is kind of fantastic in the same way that Sharknado was fantastic. So it's like super campy. Okay, and does that comedy actually work in the film? After a while you enjoy it. I did, I did. Okay, so now let's talk about Venom. This is an unexpected spin-off of Spider-Man. Yes. Does Venom work in a universe where Spider-Man does not exist? Well, I think that this is one of the more, uh, it puts the audience uh, in an emotional conundrum because this is a character that we can't quite say, yes, he's bad, he's a villain, he's a bad guy. Or, you know, do you feel super sorry for him because he's kind of a victim of mm -hmm. this alien symbiote, you know? So uh, I think, especially with Tom Hardy at the helm, this is gonna be one of those films that later in the season we're gonna love it. I'm, I'm planning to love it, so I'm hoping to love it. Okay, now let's talk night school. Kevin mm -hmm. Hart is in this. I'm a huge fan, I think you are as well. Uh, can we expect his usual performance? So, I have watched a lot of the trailers because they come out, um, you know, in, mm -hmm. in sequence. And, and I think that we're gonna actually get super funny but also something a little bit more soulful from him. That's what I think I see. He's with Tiffany Haddish, so I know he's gonna be playing great. And then we've got Rob Riggle in the movie Homegrown, so I'm excited for this one. I'm so excited for that too. And you kind of just think all of the jokes, all the punchlines that can come out of adult education. <laughs> yeah, so I, for me, I'm looking at the trailers and I'm thinking, do I believe this? Like, do I believe Kevin Hart, who is so smart and mm -hmm. so funny and so buff? and mm -hmm. active Just amazing. As, yeah. as a guy who needs to go to night school. Do I believe that? But So I'm willing to go along for the ride. So I'm excited for this one too. I think that's where the comedy jumps in. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lanita, Bill.